Blacking just a color is a way of living. It's a way of breathing. It's a way of seeing. It's a way of eating. I love being black and I love showing it too. Through my hair, through my clothes, my culture can be expressed in so many ways. You just gotta take the time to look. Art is who I am. For me, art has been almost a form of freedom. I'm on the introverted side and I've always been expressive and art is a conduit for my expression. It's really just about creating something that really demonstrates your emotional and mental state. My name is Tyler Best and I am 18. I am also a senior at Piscataway High School. During my free time, I enjoy drawing and painting. Growing up within such a constrictive schedule and in terms of school, in terms of work, in terms of just life in general, it's been very constrictive. So I always look to art as a form of freedom for myself and a form of comfort. It's always been there for me whenever I want to be free and let loose and just let my creative thoughts go. Hi, my name is Raquel Sukanya Garmini, but as an interdisciplinary artist, I prefer to go by Raquel Sukanya. I am 23 years old, going to be 24 soon. And as I said, I'm an interdisciplinary artist and I work in sculpture, printmaking, but my primary art medium right now is acrylic and oil painting. But I also do a little bit of performance art. <laughs> um, I graduated from the University of Maine in 2021. When I first started out, I wanted to do art education. I actually kind of wanted to maybe try and teach kids how to do like how to draw, how to paint, but I soon found out like once I got more into college in the semester, I wanted to immerse myself more into the fine arts. So <laughs> I figured like why not get a bachelor's in fine arts? So. My name is Rosalind Nzinga Nickel and I am a mixed media paper maker and artist. I discovered paper making about 22 years ago now and I love that recycle element of it, of always being able to take old things and give them new life. And then um, I'm a lover of textiles. And um, I found out that disintegrating and old textiles really lend themselves well to paper making. My name is Phil Smallwood. I'm a fine artist, a representational painter. Um, I love the human form, and I also am a student of light. Uh, I'm fascinated by how light performs, what it does, bends, moves, and all that good stuff. I took a local class at an art school here in town, not expecting anything more than relaxation. And uh, I got bit uh, by the art bug, and watercolor happened to be my thing, and I've not put it down since. I've sort of synthesized it, synthesized the process um, into one that I have discovered versus me learning under a, a teacher, an instructor, or, or somebody else where you're trying to emulate their skills and they're teaching you a certain way. So I think I've been fortunate in that I found my own way and I believe that it helps uh, lends to my voice. Part of my art relates to my background and growing up as an African-American. I love to um, almost document, in a sense, the music I heard growing up, the funk, the house beats that I heard, and also the, um, the experiences I had. Art is very important to the African-American culture because I think as like a black woman in society, it really shows that we can really 
express ourselves. We've been left out of the dialogue. So I think it's extremely important for artists to uh, tell our story and to tell it authentically, not to have others tell it, but tell it the way we see it and the way we feel it. We come from thousands of years of creativity, whatever it was going on on the continent, you know, with metal, with textiles, with dyeing, with, with building, with wood, that we brought that DNA over to America. And so I believe that we are creative beings again, and especially as African-Americans, we are a part of the larger black diaspora. And so to me, everywhere black people landed in the earth, the story that they are telling is all connecting to this big tapestry of black people. And so for me, black artists are important to uh, strengthening culture, identity, and community. Part of the art that I make, I do with the intent of helping people to feel inspired. I know growing up, looking at the art within my house, it always inspired me. So I'd like to do the same for others. I was actually a very uh, depressed person in high school and um, art really helped me kind of juggle with those emotions and find a meaning to like, why did I feel this way? Or like, why did I feel so anxious? And also it was an outlet for me. I'm really connected to the spirit and art, and so I am always telling a narrative. It's always about telling some story, but I intentionally keep my stories uh, vague because I like to make room for people to have their own interpretations of art. Uh, art is such an organic process, and to me, the celebration of it is letting people experience the medium for how it speaks to them, not necessarily what it was saying to me when I created it. <laughs> One of the things that has um, really um, bothered me is that African American artists are not uh, represented uh, in our museums. Uh, less than 1% of museums' um, permanent collection uh, are of artists of color. And I think that it must change, it has to change. We certainly have had more input in society than 1%, and I'd like to see those levels commiserate with our, uh, our contributions. I believe art is important to specifically African American culture because it has helped to empower us and it has helped us to grow closer as a community. I also believe that art has been important to African American culture because it has been one of the key ways of passing down stories and because our history is just so rich and vast, it has been one of those key components and telling those stories and passing them down for generations and generations. And I believe it's been one of the ways of helping to give us some sort of identity and help to build that identity. I express my blackness through my hair, clothes, and my feet. But I also express it through my art.